You ready? Yeah. Welcome back to the Nearly Cool podcast. We're back in the game. We're back again, man. And uh, it's been going down this week. Uh, start off some news, isn't it? Bill? Some very controversial well, some indeed. Elon, Elon Musk. What you, what you been doing out there? Man, like Musk. Man, like Musk. Very musky. But I, don't, I haven't actually spoke to you about your take on it yet, so I guess we'll just dive in. Yeah. Um, so we the, see the, the flop first. Should we see? All right, let's see the flop first. <laughs> so, in brief, yeah, give I mean, you'll brief. see what happens. Give him so, a, give him a brief. Got the tra- we've got the new Tesla truck, and he's trying to demonstrate that there's armored glass. Yeah. But it's called the Cybertruck. It's called the sorry, yeah, the Cybertruck. Cyber truck. Trying to demonstrate that armored glass. Apparently, it's yeah. like bulletproof yeah, and indestructible, shockproof, and all that. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. Bronze, could you try to break this glass, please? Giving it large. So this is like the first reveal, and yeah. first time that people have seen it. Mm. So he's got a, it looks like a metal ball bearing. It's pretty sure? solid. Yeah. yeah. Oh my fucking god! Fail. Smash. <laughs> Fail. That's supposed to not happen, basically. It's supposed to like bounce off, isn't it? And, and then. Um, yeah, well, I bounced off, but it, it took some of the glass with it. I reckon Musk at this point is just like, <laughs> fire this guy. Yeah, <laughs> fire whoever designed I t- this. I, yeah, I told you guys, it has to be armoured glass. <laughs> now you got me looking stupid. Well, yeah, it's got to, if you want a job done properly, do well, it yourself. The thing is, this isn't the worst part. I mean, it's like, okay, maybe the glass, it's gone through, okay. Right. So now look what happens. Maybe that was a little too hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try it the door? <laughs> Sorry? Okay. It didn't go through. And now he's like, let's try the other one. Like it's not made out of the same material. <laughs> yeah, it's something, true. Must, something different must happen. So that's a, that's a plus side. Let's, we'll let's see. Try the one, really? Okay. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Shock. Man. <laughs> Shock. Shock it happened again. So yeah, right. so much for armoured glass. But yeah. it does make the point that it doesn't go through. But then you would wonder, it, you can see there's a tiny hole. Yeah. So you wonder if it's a, it's a sharp bullet but the thing going through would it, it. Would it go through on a normal car? Because mm. they're made to shatter as well, aren't they? They're not, they're not made to go through. Do you think, yeah? That's why I'm Probably. Not, not sure. Because you got it with normal glass. Yeah, I mean, maybe we demonstrate it on your car. <laughs> You might as well. Stay tuned for that. Yeah. <laughs> might as well. It'd probably make it go up in value. Probably um, more aerodynamic. <laughs> um, so anyway, yeah. So that, that was not armoured. So yeah. that was a bit of a flop. That was the fail. But he, I think uh, Elon kind of uh, managed to... He played it off yeah, well, didn't he? Yeah, played it I mean, off well. I'd like to see what happened when the cameras were off. Um, but anyway, so let's get, so we do a little bit of the reveal as well. Yeah, so we'll we actually see the... Um, yeah. The, yeah. The cyber truck. The current cyber truck. We created an exoskeleton. What? I haven't seen this before. <laughs> oh. Hmm. That's pretty. That tough. went pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. I mean. Oh, this is, is before the glass smashing. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, so. but who is this designed for? This is um, mm, yeah. The cyber truck. I thought it was going to be because remember we touched on this. One of our earlier podcasts, the Tesla oh, yeah. truck. And, um, I did, didn't I? It yeah. did, yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't look anything yeah, like nothing this. Nothing like no. what? Because the yeah, it looked I, better I, than this. Well, <laughs> I don't know. This is the debate. I suppose. I, I thought it looked much better than this. I mean, is that, is that more of you? Yeah. I so mean, what do you think yeah, of this? It looks mad. Yeah. Is In that a bad you, way? Mm, no. I think it looks sick. Do you? Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> At first, I was like, I saw that like weird roof shape and stuff, and the I was triangle. like, mm. but then now I'm like, yeah, why not? It's something completely different. It, it's yeah, rapid. It's def- definitely different. It's, it's, it's well, it's going to be bulletproof and like smash proof. <laughs> but for who? I mean, smash proof is, is good in London, isn't it? Yeah. Um, around here, but who's this for? I think it's just to, it's supposed to it's supposed to destroy the um, F one fifty, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it probably would. I watched a video of Marquez Brownlee, and he was the same at first. He thought, mm, and now he's pre-ordered one. 
because mm-hmm. he's seen how it drives, he's seen the stuff inside, he's seen the, you know, the, the boot thing's quite cool. Yeah, yeah. You can literally drive a quad bike onto there. It can, it can, it can carry some ridiculous amount of weight, which was your concern. Yeah. That it was going to like burn <laughs> out. The thing is, we thought, or I thought, it was going to be for the the trade. Yeah. From the, first, the original. Well, I think design. it's no, I think it is still. It is still for the workman. The workman. But it works. I think it's for the workman, the workman. but also <laughs> for someone who wants to look different. It's something different. It's like it's almost like military. But for me, it looks like a cross between like military and like almost alien. Yeah, yeah. it looks because of the but... simplicity of it, and that's what I like about it. Ultra hard, thirty times cold. Let, let's carry on watching. All right. I mean, this. Let's see what they say. I haven't yeah, actually watched it right, so. Yeah. Flex. Yeah. No what dent either. No. With this truck. Let's shoot it. Oh. That's a this is shooter. a fail, isn't it? Nine millimeter oh, bullet. Shoot it. Shot at the door. So it's 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 okay. ultra hard, cold rolled uh, stainless I mean, steel alloy. That. So we're pretty much watching this for the first time oh, along yeah. with you as I'll, well. So I watched a little. I've seen snippets, a bit of these, but, but yeah, well, I mean, I'm going to be using seen. the same hmm. alloy in, in the Starship rocket and in the Cybertruck. Let's, uh, let's let's show the glass demo. So first, 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 this is regular glass. This is like normal glass, car glass. I want to show you what happens with normal car glass. Now I'll show you Tesla armor glass. Yeah. Was this gonna work Wait. this time? Yeah, it's just still, still there. See, they should have left the test at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. See, so this is where. Yeah. This is a flop. Yeah. Yeah. Sure? He's nervous about it, so he must have known that it's hit or miss. Did, did, no pun intended. Me. Me. Um, <laughs> did he design the glasses? Does he know, oh, maybe this won't work? Yeah, do you know what I mean? I don't know. Anyway, let's... We can skip this bit. Can we just let's crack on. Oh, the the on-road performance. This is what we're interested in. Ready for in. anything. Yeah. Oh. Well, 2.9, okay, let's pause this. 2.9 seconds. 2.9 seconds. I think that's truck. the dual motor version. Okay. So it's because there's different versions, but right. that's probably the quickest one. But in a truck. Is that what I mean? That's this mad. is good, mate. That's lamp, that's looking at the full, figures. So looking at the full um, the full view of it now, does yeah. it not change your mind? No. <laughs> Still. For me, that, that bit of the back makes it a bit more bearable. But why? To me, that looks like something out of a sci-fi movie, which looks, I like. Yeah, it looks like um, uh, it looks like something out of a Sega game or something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Tron. That's what Tron, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Tron. Yeah, true. I think this guy's been playing a lot of Tron. And but the thing like. is, the the whole point with this was that they couldn't make it look like what the mock-up we saw on the previous podcast yeah. because they need to beat the F one fifty. The F-150 is Ford's biggest selling, selling truck. Yeah, so America. much so, it kept, um, for, the, for at least last year I saw an article, maybe even a few years before, I don't know, but it's literally kept their North America branch of Ford in really? profit. Oh, wow. It's the only thing that's kept it in profit. Okay. Um, so, so... They've got big shoes um, to and fill. They've, and, yeah, and apparently um, that F-150 has dominated the market for something ridiculous, like a decade or more. Oh, okay. Um, so they wasn't gonna, they wasn't gonna be able to beat it by just copying the F-150 yeah, style. Yeah, making it look like your um, usual truck. Yeah, so, um, so that's, why, that I, that's why I respect it. And, and I just think it's a bold step because I'm not being funny, you see cars coming out all the time, they all just look more and more like each other. Yeah. I mean, look at the new Ford Focus. It just yeah. looks like an A45. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, like A class. A class. Yeah. 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 They're um, all copying each other. The hatchbacks and then. They're the all just starting to look like, like each same. other. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, for me, I think this is a, a unique piece of design. It's powerful. It's capable. It's got all the tech in there. Yeah. It's, it's it doesn't run off gasoline. Yeah, like true. for me, I think it's quality and I like how the back opens. I don't know if they'll show you, but yeah. it looks absolutely mental. In terms of off-road, corners, corners like it's on right now. Mm. Uh, angular approach angle, best clearance heights, best departure angle. For people that really uh, go on off-road, this is going to be great. Best, best, best basically best. do the Baja Rally in this thing. 
You know, three ranges. Uh, that's that's depending on the motor. Yeah, but 500 miles. 500 miles. Yeah. So, I still have access. And there's, I don't know if they're going to mention it. They probably will, but there's an optional, it's optional to have um, a uh, solar charging panel on the back. Mm. Which, if you see how the back opens, it like yeah. rolls away like a shutter. Yeah, yeah. So when it's down, um, there's a solar panel on there, and apparently you can get up to an additional 20 miles just out of that. So all the superchargers. Yeah. So no. Uh, be capable of no, I mean, uh, more stunned. than 250 yeah. kilowatts. We'll reveal the actual number later. Uh, and uh, it has onboard outlets for 110 and, 100 and 220 volts. Um, and as a little plus, because it's got an air suspension, we can tap off the air suspension, so you have a, a, a pneumatic. Yeah, air suspension, slip. Yeah, slip. It's gonna be hella comfortable. Mm -hmm. an, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. The onboard air compressor. Of course, it will come with autopilot standard. Auto park, full self driving, trailer docking. Yeah, lit. Yeah. I wonder if they'll make their own trailer for it. And but it's gonna. Oh, that's not, not that's, a bad price, is it? That's mean, obviously for the base model and then yeah. the basic motor or anything. Yeah, I mean it's that's poverty spec, but yeah, still. But even still. 40k. I is. imagine the poverty spec still has like all the touch screens and all that. It probably just can't like self-drive and Yeah, it won't have the solar panels. Yeah, it'll be missing or... stuff like air. Maybe an air suspension mm. won't be there and yeah. but you can't argue with that. No. You it'll can't. still look like that as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. It's still going to have the same metal yeah. panels and all that. Yeah. Well, um, I just think st him standing next to it, like imagine just bowling up that's, in that. Yeah. That's a statement, that bro. Is a statement. To me, that looks hella masculine. Yeah. Do you not think? Like, you're, you're not going to find, you know, your typical school run mum. No, no, no. Yeah. Nah. That's, and again, that's what they, they've nailed the target audience in mm. my eyes. Because yeah. men in F one fifties, yeah, yeah, pretty much, isn't it? They've nailed it. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, so I don't know. Let's we'll see if we've got anything else to say on it. So that, that's the price without any. Yeah, there's the different oh, motors. The prices, so. Yeah, so you can literally go up to a tri motor. Seventy k. Seventy k. Pretty it's pricey, still, but yeah. it's kind of probably cheap in today's. T I mean, to get that yeah. performance out of a yeah, petrol car or whatever. Yeah. 2.9 is crazy. That's like super fast speed, isn't it? That's yeah. just like the price without any incentives. Yeah, so you can order now if you would like. All right, thank you. Oh, wait. We have, uh, we, we made an, uh, we also made an ATV, so. Mate, my levels. Tesla ATV, let's go. I'm saying it now, you're going to see DMO DJ on this, <laughs> <laughs> on this team. Who try motor? <laughs> so, again, that to me, that looks like sick. Out. Hey, the design on that, yeah. Yeah, look how it opens. Yeah. It's just like, like you say, it's like something out of Halo. Yeah, yeah. And I suppose that's the, the nerd in me that likes it, probably. Yeah. I mean, he's quite nerdy. Stuff, but yeah, I mean, you got to be. Um, so the adaptive air suspension, you can drop real low, oh, and you go high on the other side. We pull this load mode. So you got a load mode. You got a built-in ramp. So you can take a ATV or dirt bike, whatever you want, and load it on the back. Yes. Oh, I can, and it's 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 current. It's. It's currently plugged in and charging. All right. Thank you. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite lit actually, isn't it? I mean, the design are still not 100%, but yeah, he's he's smashed it if he's trying to beat F, the F-150. Yeah, that's the whole that's the whole point. Yeah. Um, and what did it, what was the news said that he's got 150,000. Pre-orders. Pre-orders already, yeah. Which apparently doesn't mean much because I saw Marquez Brownlee's video and he said that you pay like $100 and you basically go on, it's like you go on a list a to be list. on the list. Oh, right, okay. So it's like $100 to have a chance to get on the list. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and it's refundable. 
okay. I think I think at, yeah. up until a certain point so so I suppose it's there's a lot of yeah there's a lot of pre-orders but how many of them translate into real orders mm. eventually will probably be a lot less yeah. I but, think there's going to be quite a bit of demand for this because you're going to get all yeah. the YouTubers what, like Marcus and all that yeah. that will want to be the first to get it yeah 100% definitely yeah the, so. the sort of the because it's so unbelievable and yeah, new and it's, hot. it's the hype it's, factor yeah, yeah. Um, it's hot right now so but yeah I actually honestly I, I honest, honestly I I would have one of them someone said for 70 money. bags you, you yeah, on, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, in, yeah. I'm in. Jeez, yeah. Man. I'm in. I mean, he, I think he smashed it with it, but yeah, I like to see how it handles and on chase to handle like rails. So that's what he reckons. Like on the track. Yeah, um, I can't. I mean, I'm not saying I, I don't believe it's going to handle like some rails. Mm. I'm not really buying that. Not gonna, um, yeah. There's a truck at the end of the day. I'm not. I'm yeah. not. That's not why I'm buying it. But yeah, you, you're buying it for sort of off roading, maybe. Um, if it's got S I'm buying it. it must be. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it's going to be quick, but it's yeah. electrics. So it's not going to be exciting quick, probably. But I don't. Well, Two point nine seconds. Well, you don't yeah, but the way it delivers it, yeah, 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 it's never yeah. really amazing. It probably. Yeah. But um. Yeah, I don't know. But saying that, I've never driven a Tesla, so how do I know? Probably yeah, it could true. be because it's exciting for all I know. But. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. Decent. I think that. That conclude the, yeah, the I think news so. there. Yeah. Um, so the next one, we're still just sticking with the news. Still, we're going to be looking at Paul Wallace. Um, he's got he's got two cars. I think he's got the two BMW. You know the M, the one series. Uh, he's got the new one and the old one. I, uh, I don't know if it's the old one's in there, but he's I mean. probably just got the new one. Mm. It looks like. But, yeah. I mean, I think. It's quite. I don't really like the new one. I, I, new's not always better. Again, what does it look like? An, an, an A class. An A class <laughs> again. It's just got. It's a massive hatchback, isn't it? Mm. So, I mean, are you a fan of the one series? Um, the new one. Um, I mean, I'm a big fan of the the one forty just going out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's an unbelievable car, but. I, I mean, it's, it's is it four wheel drive again, or? I think it's rear wheel, uh, front wheel now. Front wheel? Is it front wheel? Or no, is it I reckon rear, it's it rear just... bias or something. Because I remember them saying, or we'll find out, but mm. I think I remember them saying they got rid of the rear wheel drive from the previous 135. Yeah. It might I thought they've, I thought, yeah, I thought they've all gone four, wheel. but they, 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 um, uh, they give most of the power to the rear. Oh, okay. But well, I mean, it's really we'll find out. Anyway. It's a very controversial car, isn't it? So mm. We'll see. A good reason for that, because behind me, I've got the BMW M135i that I took down to Barkaways. And I've done a little bit of research on this car, and I've also done 500 miles in it in the last three days. I've also got the Ford Focus ST, which is just out of shot at the moment because I still haven't cleaned the leaves off, but bear with me. Well, what happened after I removed the lead? Manic, you feel like you're driving a BMW M car when it's static. Now, as we move on to the technology, everything is just updated. Everything is better than the old one. I'm just gonna go with it. The exterior, still quite, can't quite get my head around the looks and the design. I'm not a fan of these big kidney grills either that well, they've started doing. Welcome to the A45. Yeah, and um, the Focus. Yeah, yeah. it looks um, pretty focusy as well. It does as well, yeah. doesn't it? But these big kidney grills, they've started in That's all the their- That's the controversy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and all of them really. All of their 2020 cars now, so. Um, I'm not a fan. It's, yeah, it's I don't know. It doesn't even look like the One Series anymore. No. Does it? I no, it doesn't. It's too grown up now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Which is- yeah. It's supposed to be a fun small hot hatch, mm. and now it's big, it's, big, it's just become a like Ford Focus, you very know, bland with, looking. With, yeah. So, I mean, where's the flares? Where, where's the spoiler? It's all like been tucked in and yeah. kind of calmed down, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's a lot. Where's the wide wide arches or anything? Yeah, it's all like bulky and. Yeah, apart from the brake disc, you wouldn't even re think it's a. No. One three five. Non-car people will not know at all. No. 
I mean, they, they might not even know it's a BMW, which is a real problem for some people. Yeah. Because yeah. let's be honest, most people that buy a BMW, they they're looking for like the brand the BMW, recognition. Exactly. Like yeah, yeah. You know the, what I mean? They the, were the BMW marks. So it's yeah. all these young lads trying to, you know, trying to get a bit. Mm. Out there <laughs> trying to. Trying to <laughs> trying to pose and you, you pull up you're like what is that is it a focus is it an a car so there's sort of zim zim like who got the keys to me and <laughs> <laughs> you've got these big grills that no, you just wouldn't like, think that doesn't even look BMW anymore yeah now they just look like they're going down Tesco for the weekly big shot <laughs> yeah. Friday night Tesco yeah. biggie soon they're going to talk about boot space <laughs> <laughs> by the sounds of it neither can you guys so we will completely put that to one side but then it's doing well I don't mind these steering wheels I, I think mm. they're okay again though I think it's been made generic it's, it's gone like you could be in any BMW yeah with that steering wheel, with that yeah. steering wheel. you could be yeah. in a 3 series um like, I know, I know the 330D right. and that they've, they've come a, a bit of a way compared to what, but they used to be rep cars and that yeah. looks like a rep car wheel to me. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. like the fit, I like the small round bit in the middle with the thin spokes coming off. Yeah. Even we start getting into the engine. It is a brand new two litre turbocharged engine that puts out just over 300 brake horsepower. Zero to 60 is 4.8 seconds. And the BMW 1 Series, and the M135i it's just gone what can I help you with but because I've muted it I'm going to turn it off whenever you say BMW the uh, assistant comes on and asks for help it's really annoying the BMW M135 for the first time yeah. well I was going to say I mean how many times are you going to say BMW when you're driving Apart from if you're filming and trying to review it. Mm, yeah. I mean, do you ever say the brand of your car when you're driving? Mm, no. 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 So, so I suppose it's, not, it's, not, it's a bit of a non-issue. Yeah, you're only going to say BMW if you want to talk to your car, isn't it? It has yeah. X-Drive. Why not? Now, what that means is... Yeah. X-Drive. So, so it's got it is a brand. technologically yeah. impressive feat that allows... <laughs> <laughs> Technologically impressive feat. Right. Well, it's all wheel drive and it can yeah, I mean, move power to different wheels. Welcome to the future, bro. Yeah, it's not quite well, the welcome future. Welcome to is Audi, it? isn't it? It's not quite Tesla. Is the car to be driven at normal speeds like, like now yeah. in front wheel drive mode? So it's probably a little bit more efficient, just poozles around town. You don't really ever Most think about it, it being in front wheel drive. So kind of and then when you yeah. start getting on it, it can transfer power to the rear of the car make it yeah yeah so that's what we just yeah so apparently on. they're very yeah. good because it's like all it's got all wheel all, all wheel drive um kind of capability yeah so in bad weather and all that it's going to be very good it's good yeah but then i think in, if you handle it in a certain way like it will it will get the rear end out for you and stuff yeah probably um yeah, I, think I suppose that's the when idea. you put it in like you know sports mode and all that, I think it more, it's more it. encouraging. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whereas if you're going like eco or there's probably a, a wet mode as well yeah. or something, um, then it's going to um, yeah, it's going to do bits. But yeah, I mean, I mean, it's not much. There's no much point in watching much more. But no, I think we touched upon it anyway. So. What are you feel you thinking? Are you disappointed? I'm, I'd still get the 140. Yeah. Over that. Yeah. Any day. Yeah, because it's the yeah, same yeah. power as well. Yeah. About 300, and then yeah. you can remap, remap in one it. go yeah, to 400. You have a lot more fun in it as well, wouldn't you? Really a lot more fun. It looks, it looks better. Looks, <laughs> looks better. Yeah. It looks like a, a BMW. Yeah. You yeah, know, I people, I'm not being funny, if you are one of them lads out out in the town, <laughs> <laughs> out creeping, out creeping down Tesco, yeah, lurking, um, then you, you're going to. Um, Probably be a You're bit more fall successful. Short, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, well, no, fall short in that one. Yeah. In that one. Yeah. 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 Um. So yeah, I don't know. And then, and then you've. I mean, I don't know what the price is. We probably should have looked, but it's going to be a lot more, isn't it? I'll say yeah, around 30, 40 k. So yeah. you're not, you're not going to go. You know, you're going to go one forty or even one old one three five. One three five. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, a bit disappointing. And again, this highlights what I'm saying with the Cybertruck. It's different. It's, yeah. it's a it's a breath of fresh air. It is, yeah. You know what I mean? Whether you hate yeah. it or love it, someone's gone out 
definitely like Musk has gone out there, designed something turned, totally new, yeah, scrap from scratch, completely rethought the idea yeah. of a truck. Yeah. Um, whereas all these lot, they're just resting on their laurels. Yeah. All right, BMW have got X Drive and whatever else, but they, I know they've had that for years anyway. Mm. I've, I remember seeing it on like older three series ages oh, ago. Oh, the iDrive. No, X Drive. Oh, iDrive's oh, the, the operating oh, the system. Oh, yeah, yeah so and all that. Before, but the X Drive is, yeah, what is in this, the, yeah. the power distribution. But, yeah, all right, you've done X Drive in a, in a one series, whatever, but it looks like a Ford Focus and it looks, yeah. like, it looks like all the competition. I mean, it's like... Yeah, and you've got Audi who's had Quattro in the S3 for... Yeah, it's almost like they're not even trying to compete. Yeah. Because they're all doing the big grill thing as well, mm. which is like, it's come from... I mean, I can't, I can, someone will destroy me in the comments, but it came from either Aston Martin or Porsche or whatever, the big front the big grill, grill thing, like years and years yeah. and years ago. Yeah, I, I think it's been done before. I think it's probably Aston, but yeah. now they're all just on that wave. Yeah. Mm. I think they've, they've flopped a bit. No good, that. is it? No. And I'd probably rather have a 3 Series or something. Yeah, an M3. Or an M3. Like a E92 M3, something like that. Or, or just, yeah, forget this and go for... Oh, I mean, yeah, into, I mean, I'm talking about the compared to the, the new ones, oh, right, would you okay. choose this? I mean, even they've even got like the X3M and that, which are lit. Yeah, true. Have you seen them? Even in the 4 Series as well, they got the X Drive and the 4 Series. Yeah. The 435. There's some, they've got some serious motors at the moment, mm. and this is not... If I'm buying a BMW and I've got money to spend, this is not going to be the one. No. So if I'm buying new, yeah, it's not going to be the one. And and the the 140i was a massive seller yeah, on yeah. finance packages. Finance packages, yeah. I mean, you look at like, deals on that as well, yeah. I remember so many people like got on that wave. Yeah. But it's not going to be the same with this. No. It's not going to be the same. But anyway, yeah. So I think dis disappointing. Yeah. Just another. Um, just another. It's just proves what I say that new is not always better. So. No. Nah, which is why definitely we're not the case for this one. But but yeah so, so next one I probably should introduce this one so we're doing our our what do we call it the what uh, would you buy challenge. yeah so we're doing that again um, this time I've chosen the cars for Matt Perfect. last week he did it for me just to look back at other ones um, so this time we've gone for a 5k bracket mm. And a 50k bracket, so we've yeah, done I'm a looking, bit different. So. Looking forward to this one. Yeah, because 50k, you know, it's going to be lit. <laughs> it's going to be a tough one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So uh, for the first one, this is 5k. Mm. A Subaru Impreza four-wheel drive. So you got four-wheel drive in this, and you don't have to spend 4k. <laughs> yeah. Five grand four-wheel drive. Yeah. Yeah. But there scooch. is a catch on in this 5k challenge. Right. Okay. So you could probably notice it now. Automatic. Yeah. Yeah, not ideal, is it? <laughs> it's not ideal. <laughs> uh, so, not not ideal on not this ideal. generation of uh, vehicle. <laughs> no. Uh, Ninety thousand. It doesn't really have. It's quite old, so it yeah, doesn't really have all the speckage. But yeah, what is it? The two liter. Two liter auto. I think that was actually the better one. I think the two and a half are a bit unreliable. I yeah. think. Um, yeah, I mean, so, Scoobs is Scoobs, but I, I imagine, oh, oh <laughs> my goodness. Oh, Windows 95 in there. Oh my God, I don't think it's even that. What? It's, a, it's, a, it's a counterfeit version of oh. Windows 95. It's got some Chinese language on there and all sorts. So, Let's enjoy safety driving. Oh yeah, that nah, sounds nah, exciting. No, nah. no. Nah, nah, yeah, nah. just going out to do a bit of safety <laughs> driving, mum. Don't yeah, worry about it. See you in a bit. WVGA 7 wide LCD. Well, it's LCD back in the day. I mean, that probably cost a full seven inch screen, yeah. Yeah, seven inches is a good size, isn't it? So I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, they're fairly like kind of basic ish yeah. inside, but I mean, yeah, they, I mean, they are classic, aren't they? Yeah, so. No, he's fitted the ultra wide. The ultra wide for that rear, drifting that you can't. Rear mirror. That you probably won't be able to do. So yeah, pretty pretty good. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the colour, it's a bit boring. Do you think? Yeah, a bit boring. Yeah, I think, okay. So that's the first 5K. Let's look at the second. I've tried to keep it in the same theme, so. Okay. Yeah, there's gonna be a catch with this though, isn't there? Yeah. I mean, it looks budget spec anyway. RB25. 
Got the RB25. Got the RB25 in there. Oh, I actually quite like that. <laughs> Dear, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that means he likes it. <laughs> got a jack plate. Got the import. Nah, I just don't like how thick it is after <laughs> the rear got door. Thick it. It's like. It's back, isn't it? Yeah. It's sort of like. But that's just how the, you know, the others look. The GTR, it's just got a big spoiler. It's probably illusion. Oh. oh. <laughs> He's seen it. Oh no! <laughs> He's seen it. Oh, oh no! It's please. gone. The dream is gone. <laughs> <laughs> the bubble. RB25. He, he reeled there. me in with the RB25, I did, and I thought, "Where's lit?" Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Don't want to zoom in on that. Um. Jeez. <laughs> um. That's a big knob right there. Oh, steady on. Oh. Big black knob. Oh, we've lost it. <laughs> I mean, I don't see uh, this is specs on this, so even more awkward. Seeing this is a two and a half year. liter. <laughs> Why can't I get out of this? It's getting even more right. awkward. Get us out. Two and a half um, liter. Two and a half leaps. Six on there. Zero to six. Eight point three. That's like generations oh. time. No, no, that's zero. To, oh yeah, zero to six. Seven point nine. Seven point nine. Oh, that's that so is. brass, man. That is. Is, is Scooby's shocking. gonna be faster, isn't it? I reckon it's got so. a bit in it. I, I mean, even, this, even wouldn't with a crappy, this wouldn't be turbocharged, would it? Even with a rubbish old slush box. Yeah. Um, so which one would you oh choose? Oh god, the rims are so bad as well, and it's got like no side skirts or nothing. Yeah, this is pretty. No dead. one's gonna even know that I've got the RB25 <laughs> lump. <laughs> no one's gonna even know what I'm whipping. <laughs> I pull off outside like my mum's house. Like mum has mm. bought like an amazing. JDM oh, vehicle, no, which the, is like the worst bro, thing is, you is go, that you'd be going to your mates. Yeah, got a skyline. Oh, yeah, it? got a skyline. Let's pull up in that. All my mates That's are cool. expecting me got, pulling up like you got Fast and Furious. <laughs> what the first of all, Neons you got, underneath. You got a five door saloon there. Yeah, four door saloon. It's just weird. It looks weird how it thick does. it is after <laughs> the last door. Very thicky. It's like, mm. so oh my we, goodness, this is a hard choice actually. What are we choosing? Um, I always like to, when it's my guy, you know, I throw a oh, few spanners in there. What am I going to do? you got 5k of your hard earned money. So do, do I go, do I go prestige, do you know what I mean? Prestige RB25, you know what I mean? Skyline. Yeah. I can say I've Hold got a skyline. Design. You can say you got a skyline. It doesn't look like one, but. Yeah. Or, or do I have the power and the performance, you know what I mean? Oh, it's actually really difficult. <laughs> um, what are you saying? Oh, I'm getting this. Um, oh my god, I'm actually stumped. You are, aren't you? I'm actually done. <laughs> I'm defeated. It's too slow, isn't it, the skyline? Well, why would Eight it be seconds. Slow? I'm going to be getting smoked by Fiesta <laughs> STs. Yeah, <bye. laughs> All these eighteen-year-olds from finance. I'm only getting smoked by the the <laughs> car meet outside as the boys. Do you know what I mean? Oh. Right, give it revs. All right, hold on. It's an RB though. It's got potential, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm buying it because of the potential. Because of potential, yeah. Right, I'm going right. Skyline. Just because I'm, I'm buying it for prestige. I do actually like the five door because I think if I They're do a rare, few bits, it? yeah. it's going to look pretty gangster. They're very rare, yeah. Old school Jap gangster goes down well. You'd have to do some bits. It needs that. alloys. It needs. It needs. It needs lot. something. <laughs> it needs a lot. It's too bland. Yeah. But we've got the RB25. Yeah, yeah. Is it 26 or 25? RB25. Yeah. Ah, oh, 26 is better though, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I think the 26 is better. Yeah, anyway, yeah. that's good enough for me. Good enough for you. Yeah, it's but I'm not. I'm not going out in it until mm, I've got a remap. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Yeah, I'll have right. to do some work, but yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Okay, 5K done. Done. All right, on to the 50K. So you know there's gonna be some whips in this. Right. First one, yeah. 50K. You get yourself Aston Martin. I'll tell you what. Advantage. That looks 4. nice. 8, V8. It's like, um, it's not normal silver, is it? It no, looks like it's got like a silky pearlescent, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to be calling you Matt, they're going to be calling you James. Me! <laughs> Man like. Man like. Man like. Shall we have a flick through? Uh, let's have a little. Uh, yeah, go, 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 go. Um, 
I mean, 50k, you're pretty, pretty much gonna have everything in there, aren't you? Is it ironic that the sat nav? Did it say it was on, where is it? Chase Road. Chase Road. <laughs> Them James Bond chases. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's very nice. That is a pearlescent fleck, isn't it? Yeah. Fleck or flick, whatever they call it. V8 lumps. Hand built. Hand built by Thomas. <laughs> Yeah, that's looking Let's have nice. Have a look at the specs. Flossy, flossy. Uh, spec work, low miles. Yeah, it's tungsten silver slash grey. Premium stereo system, heated seats, parking sensors. The real specs, the performance. Oh, okay. <laughs> 4.9. Tesla trucks, 2.9, but. That's, that truck is quick. <laughs> <laughs> Trucks doing that bits. That truck is quick. Smoking that top. Oh. That, imagine getting you in this. <laughs> you're in spent that. 50 bags. And yeah. you, you think you're and what's James. What's the Tesla start at? What's the truck start at? For a 40k. Yeah. So you save 10. I think even the 40k one's going to be quicker. I reckon so. I reckon so. Yeah, because the tri motor one must be the 2.9. But yeah, I suppose. Yeah. But yeah, it's Still. nice, I like it. Yeah. And, and I'm surprised, because I'm not an Aston fan, to yeah, be honest. Yeah. To be honest, to me, they all look the same, and yeah. I, I, yeah, I, I look old that. man. And, yeah, I agree. But I tell you what, this has been done very well. Yeah. It's got a nice old duck tail there as well. Yeah, it is. I mean, you'd be ducking mad not to go for this one. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, it's okay. got a thick back. Yeah. Very th Very thick. All right, and what have we got? Right, so we there. got. The next 50k, it's a little bit different, but here we go. BMW i8. Mm. So we're keeping it, we're keeping it sort of, you know, Tesla-esque in this video. <laughs> we're all about the planet, well, we're not, we ain't definitely not. But, nah, you know, we're just, this is what the, we're being pushed forward the end forward of the day, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not lumping in serious money on an electric car, like, it's not but, my responsibility <laughs> to save the planet, it's all no. the rich fat cats at the top. Yeah, I mean. Do you know what I mean? When I can save the planet at a reasonable cost, at a cost I'm doing yeah, it. Yeah. But at the moment, I'm just broke boy like everyone else. I mean, so, yeah. You know what I mean? Here anyway. Yeah, we digress. We digress. Let's have so, a look. Yeah. The back mean, is. Uh, you know what, fan? I, I like the back of the i8, but this is about you. So. Yeah. Interior. Spaceship. Is, yeah, interior is mad. Star Trek bits. Yeah. Yeah, I can get down with that. I'm, I'm that kind of guy. It's a bit of me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I'll show you what part of the back I don't like. Yeah, front's good. Gold wings. Gold wings. I'm not too sure. I would. I would maybe remove the light blue bits. Yeah, probably black out. Yeah. Like, yeah. So I think they ruin what, it a bit. What are we liking here? I don't know. It's just they, these don't even connect. A bit chunky. Bro, look, even nice. Yeah. They connect the holes there. It's weird. I don't know. When you see it from a certain angle, it don't look bad there. It's that angle, I think. It's too thick and round. That's how we like them. Mm, hey. <laughs> well, this is it, but... This is, um, this is pink. But. Scoop action. Mm. Um, oh, this it's picture's a difficult aren't great, again, man. Very close up. Oh, there you go. There's a decent space in the back. Um, all right, we're gonna need 100 photos of the iDrive system, but. I mean, I'm not sure the specs and this one, like the performance. So. It's probably quicker, I imagine, but. Maybe I'm wrong. 4.4. It was slightly quick, slightly, slightly quicker, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a hard one again. Um, yeah, so that's a better back. Better back off. <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but it's just nicer for me. I think the lights are tidier. It's just more compact and nicely. A bit more smart, yeah. Mm, a bit smarter. Okay. Um, what am I going to go for? Hmm. I need to see them both. Side by side. Yeah, side by side. I've got to get back through the million photos now. Um, it's a good side view, that, isn't it? And then so is that. Mm. Oh, this is hard. Um, well, it's a bit different though. This, to this time, because this time with a fifty grand, do I have to drive this every day now with my current oh, yeah. salary? Yeah, same rules apply. apply. Oh. I mean, but then that's that's <laughs> like, I'm gonna have to go I eight with that in mind. Yeah, because, because you're not I can't afford to run the V eight lump, <laughs> 30 the miles nearly per gallon. the nearly five liter V eight lump. Yeah, but I want to go at this one from a perspective of like I've got a bit of money 
because behind you. I think it makes more sense to me. Yeah, I mean, you're not um, going to blow your whole 50 grand, are you, on no. Nah. So, so if I'm thinking I've got money and this is I've got fifty grand, but yeah. I cannot keep it, like whatever it I choose, ah, oh, I still don't know. Um, I thought you'd be a no-brainer for you. I thought you'd be going for the Aston. That's really? What, that's what I thought. Because mm. well, the thing is with with the with the i8, it's just something different, isn't it? Yeah, that's why. It's I, electric yeah. dual motor. Yeah, it's not going to sound as good. That's the thing, you ain't, they're not going to get the sound. I'm sure no. they'll pump through the... They, uh, yeah, they do. Yeah. It sounds okay, but it's nothing like a, a f nearly like five a litre V8, V8 lump. Yeah. And it's just that paint is so nice. And okay. the ductile and stuff, just mm. the way that this has been specced is very good. Really is good. Whereas that's kind of like more just typical I8. Yeah. They don't change much, do they? You know I what? I, like, I really like them both. I really <laughs> do. Well, what are we saying? <sighs> If that had, if the i8 had some more gadgets for me, like the Tesla, if it had like air suspension, yeah, and like, um, well, I don't know if it, it has or not. Um, anyway, I think if it had like um, self-driving and stuff like that, I'd oh, be right. sold. Yeah, but no, I'm going Aston. Aston. It's, that paintwork's too good. It's just the whole setup of that is unreal. Yeah, okay. That is fresh. Cool. I, yeah. I don't think you could have gone wrong there, to be honest. No. Nah. No. But yeah, it was a good yeah. one. It was yeah. difficult. Right. It's difficult. That's, that's my, one. my turn next week. <sighs> that's it. Go. Um, see what happens. See what happens next week. So, are we on to the bargain finds of the week? Yeah. We've got know? some good ones. Should we explain? How so, the idea here? with this segment is we've, we've, we just go on various different websites and we see the idea is to get basically to get as much kind of performance yeah. and value for yeah. for for a set price yeah um and we've th we've recently been doing like really cheap ones 300 brake we was doing 300 brake for like two, two grand two and, and a half grand and that yeah so yeah. we've had some good ones like if you if you've been watching the previous but this time we've gone up a bit so it's a bit more money but still unbelievable value yeah um <coughs> So for people that are, instead of putting t 10 grand or five grand down on a new car, these ones are sort of 10, maybe 10 grand or so, and you're getting a lot of money. Yeah, I think we've found some money. even lower than 10 grand. Yeah. Um, but, anyway, but let's dive in. Yeah. So first one, which we're both um, pretty happy with. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I used to own a 350Z, so. Yeah. I mean, this is immense yeah. for the money. Um, but let's look at this first. It's been lowered. It's got nice alloys. It's really the, nice um, setup there. Yeah, it's got the front lip on it as well. Uh, front, front, yeah, front lip. Tinted um, around. Yeah, that's good, man. It's, it's whoever set this up has set up nicely. Yeah. Because um, it's easy to make them look uh, a bit chavvy, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think this Very is quite easy. tasteful, isn't it? Yeah. And for non for people that see non like non car people, mm. this is going to go down well looks wise, isn't it? Yeah. And the noise, we as we know. Oh, the noise is is very V6 nice. Is, yeah. yeah, it's so nice, man. Done that. Got a good exhaust. Mm. I mean, that's a back. That's a it? back off. That's a nice back off. Um, maybe a bit too low. Yeah, you always use a scrape anyway. Yeah, you're definitely scraping. Um, so I would well, maybe undo that. I mean, it looks nice. Though. Yeah, we'll so, see if it's adjustable. Yeah. Maybe or it maybe is actually. It's a manual. Uh, I yeah. think most of them are manual, aren't they? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so let's have I a mean, look. I mean, you can see now there's a boost gauge. So do you see it's going to be going down? Yeah. So it's a twin turbo. There you go. For nine thousand pounds. Now, normal ones are going for like five or six. Five or six, anyway. And that's anyway. NA, are naturally aspirated, so. Um, only 59,000. Mm, I wouldn't really believe it that much. Would you not? Nah, I mean. Mine was only 350s 60. are lower, because they're juicy. Yeah. They're big engines, so yeah, they don't get driven as much. But I would take that with a pinch of salt, if I'm honest. Um, You're very skeptical about the mileage, aren't you? About everything. <laughs> Have you been done over the past? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've just seen what can be done. <laughs> yeah, true. So, um, true. I've seen how easy it can be done. So, um, but anyway, let's see what we're dealing with. It's um, uh, 450 brake at the flywheel. Um, so that's twin turbo yeah. complete system. 
It's got manifolds, downpipes, external wastegates, they're gonna sound pretty cool. Um, oil scavenge pump, uh, aluminium oil uh, sump. It's got loads and loads of upgrades. It's got, HKS, it's got a Walbro fuel pump. HKS uh, carbon titanium exhaust. That's yeah. Probably That's probably yeah. a couple of grand in itself. True, really. true. Um, <coughs> this just goes on and on. Brake suspension and, and transmission have all had something done to them by the looks of it. Um, where is the suspension while we're there? Um, the coilovers with adjustment extensions. Yeah, yeah. So, so it should be, so it should be, should be adjustable. Right I mean, that's a it's lot of car. So much done to it. A lot of car for 9k. I mean, you get that you, cheaper as well, I reckon. You could probably. And it's even it got. It's even got links to where the post where he built it, oh, wow. which is like. That's extra it's dedication. So it's you know, good. You can yeah. see the process has been carried out properly. Yeah. You know this has been looked after. And it's By an enthusiast, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, I would still say it's test drive dependent, really. You would yeah. want to make sure there's no obvious signs no that it's going way. wrong. Yeah. Um, but £9,000 mad, really. Yeah, 450 mad. break. That's it's going to be so rapid and it's going to sound good. It looks good. They're pretty reliable. They are pretty reliable. The engine's yeah. solid. Yeah. Yeah, um, definitely. yeah, that's a good going. That is very good going. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so let's, uh, let's move one, on. Yeah. So we're both pretty happy with that. <coughs> um, so for all you BMW fanboys like myself, mm. you don't have to go out and get an M4. <laughs> you can get a 335i. The only thing with these is that the engines aren't that reliable. Oh really? The N54 engine and N53 engine. Oh okay. That's the only thing, but, but you know, this is this is a nice car. Right? We'll see what's done to it. It's got so meth injection, injection. Which is good for the engine, yeah. cools it down. You get a pair of feet in there as well. Hey. <laughs> oh my goodness. Some like Asian looking feet. Why would you put that in there? <laughs> you could take a better picture than that, but <laughs> anyway. One off highly modified must have sleeper. It is a sleeper to be fair. Do it doesn't sleeper? even look it doesn't even look like a 335 to me. Mm. I mean I know because I'm a car guy, but yeah. if I'm an average Joe out there. Yeah, you think it's just a normal yeah. three series. Four hundred and fifty brake. These sound mad as well, they sound very they sound, nice. They sound nice, don't they? Um six hundred and fifty newton meters of torque, that's a lot. Um 96k, 95k, should I say on the clock? Um, quite a bit, of, quite a few bits done with it. Um, one has been well looked after, isn't it? Yeah, gearbox serviced and mapped. Um, tuned specifically for high grade. Um, okay, all of our common issues have been resolved with the N54 engine, ah. and has always been maintained to a high standard. So, That's I mean, what you want to hear, isn't it? Yeah, he knows. Yeah. Yeah, common yeah. issues resolved. Yeah. So hopefully he's taking the pain on your yeah, behalf. Yeah, he's, he's taking the brunt of it, isn't he? Isn't yeah, it? seven grand. Seven K. So That's... it's probably going to keep up with the 350, but I would say the 350 looks much better and stuff. Yeah. Um, it, it looks wise, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Looks wise, yeah. Um, but if you're if you're after a sleeper, and two grand less. Yeah. yeah. Some people it's love bargain. BMW as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, big bargains. Mm. So the nice. next one, keeping it German, is an Audi S4 supercharged. Well, I think the S4s are supercharged, so mm. this has been remapped by Revo to uh, 450 brake. Again. Stage two. I don't like how he's edited the photo because it yeah, trying he's, to make it look nicer than it he's is. He's an well. Instagram freak. Yeah. Like, I mean, that's steady normal. That's photo. how it should look, yeah. I like Stephen. Yeah, just the thick bit in the middle is a bit annoying, but yeah. Thicky, he's yeah. Got, oh, has he actually done something with that, or is it is that standard? Or something? I don't think it's standard. With the no, it looks like it's strip. had something done to it. Uh, this one is an automatic, so keep that in mind. <coughs> it's your normal Audi bits in here. You've got the paperwork, the receipts, all that, all that good stuff. But this is for 6K. 6K, Six grand, even man. less again. Yeah. 450 brake again. Right, and you you got um, four wheel drive in there as well, Quattro, so. Let's go. You know. Big power putting it down. Yeah. Miltech exhaust, yeah, they're exhaust. good. Two and a half grand is, yeah. is 
probably not lying, they're a lot of money. <laughs> V-Sex, V-Sex engine. V-Sex. V-Sex, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's done a lot to this again. Genuine calipers and hoses, 1500. Oh, rebuild the gearbox and the new clutch, four and a half, four, five and a half grand. Wow. He's losing money on this. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's, he's <laughs> big time. He's lost a, he's lost shed loads. Jeez. I mean, but he must be in desperate to get some money back because yeah. he's like, yeah, may part X for cheaper. Advertise elsewhere for thirteen grand. Really? Yeah. What does it say that? Yeah. Advertise elsewhere for thirteen grand. So it's like you're trying to do you a favour because you're on yeah. eBay. A bit strange, but odd one that. Yeah, maybe that's odd. Uh, you know. Going there with, with your eyes open there, that one. <laughs> with <laughs> my... Takes, it takes on a mechanic with you. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. I mean, the main point we're trying to get at is it's just still 450 brake for... Yeah. For six lot grand. Less, yeah, a lot less All-wheel drive. Okay, so... Mm. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Free bargains. Yeah. Free lit bits. Um, are we concluding? Think, yeah, I think that wraps up this episode um, and news for next week well yeah, next week ish we have got some uh, pretty big news for the channel haven't we yeah so we're announcing that now yeah I think so go on then I think give it to him give it to him don't keep him waiting any longer give it to him you give it to him I know <laughs> 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 the, the news uh. is we've got a guest coming um, next week he's pretty well known in the car game and we're excited to have him on, really. Very excited, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. And we're revealing the name now? The name is... His old channel was Boosted. So, Sean. We got, we're having Sean on next week. Um, he's going to be coming in to sort of explain basically all of what's happened to, to his channel. He's going to say it how it is. Mm. So I think there's some stuff he couldn't say in his original video. Um, <clears throat> but this time, you know, he's, he's gonna. We're gonna be the voice of you now, aren't we? So yeah, we're gonna be able to ask these questions. Yeah, I think it's before he. Uh, yeah, I think you put it right that before he was just sat. He just sat there and he kind of guesstimated. I mean, he probably looked at comments and stuff. Yeah. But he guesstimated it's most like of what people want to know. Yeah, yeah. But it wasn't. We felt that it wasn't really hundred percent what we wanted to say, didn't we? Yeah, exactly. Um, and both as fans, we're looking forward to meeting him anyway. Definitely, but yeah. We're gonna, it's gonna be in the studio again um, with Sean Barrett, and we're gonna, we've got, we've got the studio for two hours, yep. so it's gonna be a real in-depth in interview uh, with Sean. So there won't yeah. be any of our usual stuff. Um, no, not from that mm, video. Most likely, yeah. it'll probably just be literally the story of Sean story Barrett. Sean, yeah. Um, mm. I suppose the rise, the fall, and then the rise again. I yeah, suppose. I mean, because he's making he's making a comeback. He's he's uh, he's recently put out a video. I think it was last week. So, I mean, yeah, he's he's gonna he's yeah. gonna hopefully do bits again. Yeah, we're gassed. And, yeah, he's definitely back on the the up, isn't he? I mean, yeah, I mean, um, I'm, I'm I'm gassed. <laughs> I'm gassed. <laughs> yeah, I'm no, he's gonna be very good. Um, like, I used to watch all his videos too. back. Yeah, back and boosted. I've yeah. followed him since he had the uh, since he had the Cleo. Yeah, so if you so, yeah if you want to see who we're talking about, he started on the boosted official channel yeah. on YouTube, and now if you just look up Sean Barrett, you'll find him straight away on YouTube. That's his own channel now, isn't it? He's so. kind of yeah, he's kind of the part of that first wave of like, well I don't know, kind of like Jamie F Y D sort of era, looking yeah. at like modified cars yeah. and car vlogging more so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're we're so, we're very chuffed and look forward yeah, to it next week. Um, so I mean, you probably follow us on Instagram as well, and we'll have we we'll have stories on the day that we're seeing him and yeah. meeting him and stuff. And I'm sure he might upload some stuff as well. So mm -hmm. we'll see. Yeah, but it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Good. Be back in the studio, direction, which would be yeah. nice as well. Yeah, like studio. No more couch talk. <laughs> <laughs> Even as cosy as it is, but yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll be in the studio next time. So, mm. yeah. but there we go. Right. So, episode number four done and dusted. Four done. Four done. Four. And uh, yeah, onwards and upwards. Thanks for watching. Nice one. Check out our links in the description. 
if you if you could comment and give us some feedback like we'd really appreciate yeah. it regardless of what it is if it's mean um, we can take it if it's mean tell us it's rubbish yeah. tell us it's this tell, tell us, us it's that quit. Um, want, any advice and feedback is welcome yeah cheers and um, yeah subscribe and all of that so thanks very much till next time layers done out here yeah done and dusted